Hey, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and I just want to get done with any content related to the 6600 XT because I want to get out of my system and into my son so he can enjoy some really good gaming. Now, this card is a great gaming card. It is the Power Color Hellhound. It has 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, not 6X, and it could certainly get the job done for his gaming needs, but everybody and everybody's games are a little bit different. I really want to put this Monster MSI gaming trio i think it's gaming x trio actually back in my system is really big card uh but the 6600 xt is taking up its slot which is why we're trying to wrap up the gaming performance of this card in today's video so first off i want to talk about extending the limits now stock this card performs really well but with the more power tool or soft power play tables which igor's lab has presented the community with for years now does allow us to extend the limits of this GPU even further, which I greatly appreciate. They do have the stable releases and the beta releases. I just want to talk primarily about the settings. I'll have everything linked down in the description below. Anyway, so with the more power tool, if I go ahead and load it up, I'll show you my setup. I did basically apply the same thing, but I made a few adjustments as far as my clocks go. So first things first, you always want to make a backup of your original BIOS. There is a AMD VB Flash 3.20 that is out. Again, link it will be in the description where you can download it and use the commands to save that BIOS. Always back up your original BIOS first. This card has a dual BIOS with a silent and OC version. And then once you have that, you just hit load and then you go over to where your ROM is, which this is the stock one. This one's the OC limits that I saved. The OC limits is what's on here now. So we're going to copy what Igor's lab is showing us here, right? So we bumped up the power limit from its stock to 155, and I believe it's 135 uh, stock. And then its TDC limits, this went from 117 to 127, and I believe this one went from 15 to 25. Actually, let's go ahead and test that out real quick. So we're gonna hit load, come back. All right, so 18 to 25, 117 to 127. 135 to 155. Additionally, you can see here on DPM3 that uh, he bumped up everything, uh, well, not everything, but just this one right here from 1350 to 1400. I did do that as well. But additionally, under frequency, you can see that the original clock for F clock uh, at the max range is 1800 and they went up to 1980. So basically, let me go ahead and load the OC limits again. I basically copied over everything from Igor, but when it came down to the actual clocks, I had to adjust because my card is a little bit different. Now, if I wanted to apply this, I hit right. If I want to delete it, I can delete it. But we write and then we restart the system. And once I restarted the system, let me show you the actual clocks that I got. So right now, using AMD's utility rather than MSI, which you can use MSI after burner if you want, but I just get some fine tuning with the AMD utility. We got 2600 as the minimum frequency on the core, 2725 is what I put, while Igor's lab was saying, at least here in the picture of 2840. Now, when I try to go above 2800, I would crash. When I try to get near 2800, I would crash. Only on certain benchmarks like TimeSpot. I can go past 2800 and hit the same limitations or the, the same clocks that Igor is showing. Uh, but it really depends on the game, application, or utility, or benchmark, or whatever you're using. Now, they did bring down the millivolts or the voltage down to 1120. I have mine set at 1150. And then the memory they have at 2340. However, with my card, and every card is different, so this is why you want to tune per your system and maybe start low and then bump it up but 2280 is where my card would sit st stable 24 7. i can hit 2300 for other compute workloads but it is not 100 percent stable fan speed you got obviously take manual control of that i turned off zero rpm put it on a higher ramp and then power tuning or power limit i just brought that all the way up same thing that igor did so it got the job done. Now, maybe this MSI card that Igor, Igor is using for this testing is a lot better than mine, but with the Hellhound, these are the settings that I got. These are the settings that I use. Pause the screen if you need to to go ahead and make your adjustments. 
but always start low like maybe for example if you start at 2000 memory you know bump it up to 20 uh 2050 2100 and then 2150 and, and just bump it up in small increments once you start getting instability then bump it up in increments of maybe 10 20 or if really if you really want to fine tune maybe only 5 megahertz as you move up with these settings though let me show you some of the the, the benchmarks i got so on fire strike the normal fire strike i got 2705 and on the fire strike extreme i got 13 590 but you really to put that into context let me show you what i mean here so this is stock versus the more power tool uh settings that i basically put in there and you can see that we increased our frames per second by about 10 percent in one test basically about 10 percent in both tests and overall combined about five percent just with these small adjustments now we did sip a lot of power and you can see right below me here we hit a max temperature of let me go ahead and bring it there we go we had a max temperature on the hot spot of 90 c so be aware of your surroundings your air temperature your ambient air your internal computer air if you got good airflow bad airflow all that factors in but 99 c on the hot spot is pretty toasty um, and that's what the fans kicked all the way up gpu temperature saw 74 and now we don't have a memory thermistor on this card but i can assume it was getting pretty toasty as well but we did increase on regular fire strike now when we did fire strike extreme we saw again about a 10 percent uplift in fps uh regular you know regular graphics test and combined and on time spy uh the regular one we got again about a 10 percent uplift in fps or performance so for gaming this card does a great job stock but with the more power tool you can extend those limits even further and i did submit some of these to hardware bot and uh you know it's it's actually doing very well with the more power tool i'm pretty sure that if i tear down this card which i do plan on doing in the future and adding thermal pads to the back side of the pcb as well as replacing the thermal paste that we can get that hot spot temperature down even further so we hit 94 on that test moving on 98 so but stock if i can get a stock one right here so this is on ultra stock we only hit 93 on the hot spot 75 on the gpu but when we use the more power tool obviously that's going to go ahead and uh increase the temperatures now port royal we got 4365 i will leave the link down in the description to igor's lab uh for the settings that they use but every gpu is different so just be careful and fine tune your gpu uh there's also a disclaimer in here or he tells us you know obviously be careful with what you're doing and if you stay within the parameters that they provided uh, you should be fine. At least that's my interpretation of it. But that's going to do it for me today. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bells to stay up to date with the channel. As well as check out some of the links down below that help support our channel and what we do here. Like to dojelord.com where you can get some merchandise from our collection, Serpent X. And you all have a great day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.